Hello my art lovers what's up today now in this video i'm going to paint a beautiful bird called british robins i'm sure you heard of it and if you haven't go and check them out in the google it is a very very cute bird and i'm sure you're going to like this painting because uh, i have used a lot of my personal techniques which actually you know worked for my students so you can also check this out so my only one request do not skip the video please so guys fun fact robins the bird i'm talking about they are actually you know uh, british robins and they travel from uk they are mostly sedentary but they travel from uk to europe during the autumn and then they come back in the winter so uh, few of them actually handful of them are uh, you know migrating birds who are very very loyal to their territory on that particular season so and also uh, a fun fact they actually puff up to uh, accommodate with the harsh weather uh in order to protect their body so today i'm going to give you some very very useful information guys and last video guys thank you for watching the video and this is somewhere here in the screen so uh without much saying i'm going to shut the f up and let you enjoy this video thank you so much Bird outline is the easiest outline uh, what I feel So if you are a beginner uh, practice a lot uh, the outlines and and the, the curve and uh, obviously I'm going to make a video of understanding the curve and the circle and how do you practice it so soon a video is coming up for the beginners a series of videos videos will be available and moving forward as i always tell you to finish the background always first if you are painting a realistic or trying to paint a realistic uh, painting here i'm using using acrylic febicryl bottle for the first 5 to 6 layers and finishing obviously as you know i finish like other artist i will use uh, artist color and that is cambelin tube color so guys i here i am using only the primary color any mixed color i don't support because this way you will lose your uh, artistic uh, creativity of color mixing capability Here, yeah, guys, background. I am nicely giving a, a ray. Guys, this is uh, uh, a fifty percent reference photo, and the other is from the Im imagination. For the ray, while I am going, I am using just the raw color of titanium white and little bit of black and blue. So. so i always say while you are finishing the background then for the for the foreground subject always you do around half an inch inside the outline so that you don't have to go back to the background again and waste your time and this is really annoying for me if i miss here you can see i am uh, starting with the uh guys always i i recommend guys if you have any excess color and you know it's going to be dried and you should always use it then you can uh, you know break the rule a bit then uh, for that i have used this yellow color which i had excess paint in my palette but i always start from the darkest area as you all know 
and then the second darkest area so uh, i do like that if you are really uh, painting for a while if you have done around uh, at least uh, 30 to 40 painting after that it will become little bit of you know uh, uh, free to do something you know uh, out of the basics and all so here i would say whenever you are painting you always try to finish blocking of the entire canvas uh, as soon as possible so i took around uh, you know uh, 45 minutes to 1 hour until this point and i know within 1 and 1/2 hour i am going to finish uh, covering all the blocking so that is uh, that should be considered as one layer once you have done with the blocking and don't do over layering until you finish the blocking guys it actually demotivates you uh, while you see your painting is uh, uh, you know not even uh, on its way to finish and you are doing the layering and it is already you know 4 hours or something so it is discouraging for you don't do that guys blocking of the canvas is very very important i have pretty much blocked my color as you can see where i left the white color i'm not going to do the three layers i'll i'll just finish one or two layer because that's not my focal point so that will be uh, you know i want to present it kind of a uh, uh, you know two layer or something three layer finished area so so far i'm pretty happy with the background as i made uh, you can see in my this is going to be turned into something else so as i am progressing throughout different different of colors if you look at very closely onto any bird or onto any photograph of a bird you will see it has more than 200 uh, different varieties of values and colors so guys uh, you have to understand you have to use you have to keep changing your values always and keep putting on layers 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 and once you are doing the far guys near the edges of the far uh, i always suggest give a blur effect so that it will look more realistic the belly portion is uh, white but i did not do a very sharp transition there to the background i have given a blur blur effect or i i am going to give more blur effect as of now it is not there guys one thing i have uh, learned in this painting that i used to do this technique with a brush that you can see the rain drops how i am doing i am using my uh, finger and yeah i am rubbing my finger onto it so th this is more uh, mm, easy than you do it with your brush because brush always leaves a leaves a 
um, brush mark uh, which is again uh, uh, will not be converted to uh, soft edges so I want a very very soft edges I want to give a feel like this is a blur effect so you can see how nicely it is coming out and uh, I kind of discovered it and I was very very uh, excited to show you guys guys use this technique guys this is really really helping me out I got a little frustrated while I'm I was doing the orange section because in my reference picture it was not orange it was a orange red but my uh, then I was thinking why it is not coming I was again using my cadmium red uh, to make a bright red and uh, using little bit of medium yellow I was not using yellow ochre guys yellow ochre has a muddy effect uh, in the color so that fresh yellow color which you can you know you also you can also use it yellow ochre plus titanium white but I think I would recommend you should go straight to the lemon yellow or uh, you should use the medium yellow and you should use little bit of white and then cadmium red if you want little bit of reddish effect but I was really frustrated then I found out that my water is completely full of paint and it is you know damaging the the texture of my color what I intend to you know uh, uh, bring so I changed my water and then I saw the difference and it was really satisfying at the end I always say don't forget to check my description box it is for you all guys and I have given all my materials A to Z with all the description so it will help you guys if you can check the link and understand what exactly I'm using if you're in India if you're not in India still you it will help you to understand what kind of product I'm using so instead of Camlin lot of people also go for uh, basics and stuff but I use uh, Camlin which is uh, uh, which I am very happy with and the bottle color, color which I have used is the Fevicryl bottle color as I think I have mentioned earlier you can buy 20 ml bottle it will cost you around 20 rupees per bottle and yeah you can see how the raindrops are looking this is looking absolutely fantastic isn't it so guys one thing uh, always use the don't just pour the bottle while you're using the bottle color always use it from the uh, uh, with with the help of your brush while you are putting into a uh, bottle of another color but always make sure that uh, there is less water there is almost no water otherwise it will and that color will mix into the bottle and it will contaminate so uh, be careful with that but it will come with the experience guys if you keep doing you will understand yourself uh, and then I don't need to describe this you will understand but always use with the uh, always take the brush inside the bottle and the brush should not be like uh, uh, number 10 or something brush should be like number 8 or number 6 it will go inside the bottle also follow me on my social media I hope it has been given there in the screen and um, yeah you will find a lot of my paintings and you can chat with me Thank you all my patrons and if you uh, wish to buy my painting or communicate or join my academy in Bangalore, India or if you want to 
go ahead with any suggestions please uh, you know contact in my gmail or here uh, about this video guys please let me know if you have in any queries at all or if you have any kind of suggestions let me know below in the comment section and let me know what kind of videos i should uh, bring out to help you guys in any means hit the like and subscribe button if you really like it and if you don't like it i would suggest not to subscribe and as always be well be happy be safe have a beautiful and colorful life and peace out